Right, let's get the last half of this done and then we'll move on to getting the walls up. And once we've got the walls up, we get the water in, then we're pretty much done, to be honest with you. Right, so give me a word. Again, I'm not entirely certain that's enough, but we'll see. We haven't stopped to do any maths on this one, which I normally do before doing an episode, because I wasn't actually going to build this this week. <laughs> you guys wanted Minecraft, and this is what we're doing. So let's get this built quickly. As you can see, this is a very quick build, which is great. And it's a very useful one as well. Okay, two more, and then we're done with this bit. Two. Right. How do you stop water from flooding the hole? Okay, we'll get round to that in just a sec. Basically, the water where I'm going to pour the water is far enough away from the hole it will never go down. It's Minecraft physics for you. there yep we're done okay as I'm the only one here let's go and find a bed quickly might as well take a shortcut hmm does anyone know if anything big is going on in twitch at the moment oh actually I hope uh, Dragon Wolf Tamer, it doesn't mind. Hello, creepy baby. I'm just going to borrow this bed. And. Am I right in what you are building? Your shears are the wood box. Am I right in thinking this gadget lets Bob swarm and then pushes them off in the hole where you harvest their dead corpses? Yes, you are absolutely right. We harvest their dead corpses. And it's so, so a wonderful way to put it. Right. There we go. Right now, let's get back to this. Yeah, this is called a mod drop. Um, once I've got this a little bit more built, we'll go through the uh, the logic of this. Hello, Andy Ray Sim. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. What's that? What is that? Pass home. I know. I quite like that one actually. Oh, it's just a tree. Okay. Right, when they've got this a little bit more built, we will talk about the logic behind it and the other things we can do with it as well. But for now, um, let's just get this a tiny little bit more built. And yeah, we'll, then we'll, we'll move on. Creepy. Are you saying things we do here are creepy? Hmm, well, you're probably right. Don't need any of this for a minute. Let's get some of this dark oak, which we're going to need lots of. Start building this around. So, uh, like this. This is actually going to go up two, actually three more. Have a roof. Ah, uh -huh. hello, Mr. Creeper. You saw I was building something, decided to come along and have a look, did you? Let's get you away from that, and then let's get rid of you. There we go. Uh, let's get this edge done. And then we'll start looking more at the design. I'm going to leave a, a little hole here to get in and out of. We'll fill that in towards the end. In fact, let's just make that one block high. There we go. That's good enough. Damien is creepy. Well, Damien is creepy, but in such an adorable way. Uh, I think, once again, we don't have enough wood of this either. You see, this is what happens when I do a Minecraft episode without the planning. Uh, nearly done. As you can see, we're coming up to, I'd say, about two-thirds of the way done. 
Uh, this is a bit tedious to watch, but it's all over quickly, said the uh, actress to the bishop. And one more, yep, yeah, one more should do it. Okay, there's that. Right, now let's get let's let's get some trap doors in place, I think is the next step. Um Trap doors are to be totally honest with you the key of this. Uh because what happens here is Let's get back up on here. All right, monsters spawn around here, okay? And they wander around, and they wander around. Now, they could naturally walk off. In fact, sometimes they will. But the interesting thing is with a mob, if you put a trap door there, that leave it open, like that, they think that is a flat area. So they will quite happily walk here and then fall in. So, That's the next step. You can put trap doors on everywhere they can fall off. They're still talking about football. I didn't realize that was that boring. <laughs> I do love my chat. Alright. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to go and get a load more wood. But that's not a problem. Because once again we're right by the tree farm. And there. There and there. And we've run out. Okay, right. right. Let's go and get some more wood. In fact, let's go and... Yeah, let's not go that way. Let's go and cut down a couple of those um, dark oaks because they give plenty of wood. We're... Go and grab those. This is Dragon Wolf Tamer's house, by the way. Still work in progress. But uh, he's having lots of fun and learning from what I can see. Uh, this is a nice enough building. I know that she did this one. And uh, having lots of fun doing it, by the looks things. <laughs> Could you guys talk? You, know, you guys can talk about whatever you want as long as it's not offensive or, um, you know, just rude. And I don't know. Yeah, look, one of these chickens is turning into a duck. Oh, we'll, we'll, uh, I probably did. We'll give it uh, one more look over before uh, we actually start using it. So if we have missed one or there's one in the wrong place or something like that, we'll grab it then. So let's get a couple of these trees cut down. Um. Right. Uh, so Nice thing about dark oak is it's plenty big, so you get lots of wood out of it. That's what she said, I know. So, there's that. I don't think I left any up there, so that'll despawn. Let's get another one cut. Uh, it won't give us a little bit more of a stack of wood, which will probably give us about five or six stacks. That's not going to be enough. Let's do a third tree. Uh, let's just get this cut. Have I missed any? No, I don't think I have. Yep. Yeah. I'd rather you didn't talk about fences. I mean, personally, I find fences very, very offensive. So, there you see. 
you know, I mean, that's, that's it. The name, the name, the name in itself is a, an indication. You know, they're offensive. Oh, what the hell? Religious wars have started for less, haven't they? All right. All right. Well, okay. Well, here we go. This is the topic of conversation for the Minecrafters here. Um, those of you who have been watching my Arcadia series know that uh, mod is keep on calling me a very nasty word. Um, well, I say a very nasty phrase because it's hyphenated. And uh, I, I'm, he's obviously going to try planking me back for me pointing out that he was wrong for calling me that. So uh, uh, perhaps you guys can think of some suitable uh, ways of me correcting... Uh, mod for his erroneous ways. Can I do an evil laugh as Damien? Oh, Damien's giggle's bad enough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Damien's evil laugh. It probably belongs to someone along his own. Uh, You know what, let's get another, uh, yeah, there we go, while we're sampling, let's get another tree in here, I've always wanted to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, we can j just do it, that's great, boink, 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 there, since I built this place, I've wanted to get the one more sapling there, so one more tree there, that's good, All right. All right, let's get back to work. <sighs> Filling filling house with water is fine, but it's um uh, a bit a bit cheeky, and I've I've also between you you guys uh, I've already done that to someone, so I don't particularly want to do that again. Um, probably gonna do something subtle with note blocks the next time, but. Uh, yeah, shizzy. I mean, that's, that's that's something that's occurred to me, which is you know um, that was a, a good idea. There's some lights down around here that perhaps can reduce the number of creepers that pop in to visit. Yeah, feeling a touch more illuminated now. Excellent. Right, let's get this finished as much as we can right let's give it a bit more wood and see let's do 30 that's going to give me 60 trapdoors and if I do use them all up I can always find another use for them Right, what are we doing? Okay, so that one's done, that one's done. That one's all right, that one's all right, that was all right. That one, yep, there's the one that was wrong. Thank you for pointing it out. So, one there. And we're doing more here, weren't we? No, a creeper is going to pay to pay us a visit somewhere during the construction of this. It's going to be so much fun to deal with. Uh, but then again, that's one of the reasons why I made it in wood. Wood is cheap to use. Uh, my clicking finger is going to be glad when this is done. Oh no! <laughs> oh man oh dear talk about not paying attention <laughs> oh I like that I like that idea um Thank you, bit late for pointing that out. Yeah. 
Yep. We know now that the drop works. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Uh, I think I did. I sorry, I can't quite remember at this second, but I think I did. But let's get all our stuff back. Yeah, right. Let's get ourselves organised quickly. Kit on sword, food, lights, camera, action, axe. There. Where's my? There we. Where's my pick? That'll do for now. Right, let's get back to this. Um, I think I did. Um, forgive me for not remembering exactly what it is. I did see a few and it was a little while ago, but uh, I, I sort of vaguely remember what you were talking about. And yes, I did quite like it. And right, while we're thinking about it... Um, right. Now that we know the drop works, that was obviously a test. So let's just do that for a second, shall we? Uh, I gotta be honest with you, my death counter is absolutely terrible after all the time I've been spending in the nether making that railway, so I'm not particularly fussed about it anymore, but that one was amusing. <laughs> Fell to his death in a hole that he made himself. Oh yes, how stupid. Uh, no, yep, one more there. Uh, yep, almost done. Not going to have enough trapdoors. We're going to have to make a few more trapdoors to finish this off, but we'll be alright. So the last one, we're going to be two trapdoors short. I was, yeah, I was, I was actually th thinking about that one as well. Yeah, so hide the chickens, but do it in such a way that they're incredibly hard to find. I mean, that one can be done, and actually can be done quite easily, to be honest with you. Should be amusing, at least for me. Right, okay, so that's our last two trapdoors. <laughs> yes, I should imagine they will. Right, okay, so just check quickly, make sure we've got everything up and on the right sides. Looking good. Right, let's go and make ourselves a water source and let's go and fill some water up. So, let's, oh, hold on. Two, three, four. Yeah, I know you can do an infinite water source with three blocks, but I tend to do them as squares. I don't know why. Let's just go and grab another bucket of water. I would, I would, I would just call it Bob, to be totally honest with you. I'm quite happy to call the place Bob. I think Bob is an excellent name and is a go-to name for going to, basically. But everyone gets offended when I do, and I've no idea why, and... Oh, but there we go. Right, infinite water source. If you put uh, get a square of water like that, you can take one of the corners without the others disappearing. Now, we need to get the water in here to make sure that everything that falls off of these pie points flows down to the middle here. So the obvious, the, this one is obvious. We put water here, and it just pushes that way. But we also need to put water in the corners here. To push things this way and push things this way so they then get caught and flown down here so effectively wherever i've put a torch we're going to need to put some water all right so we'll let's make a start doing that 
And as this comes together, you will see how this works. And from this point onwards, oh great, that one messed up. From this point onwards, I'm going to go around the edge and do it. So, right. And there we go. So now these will push down that way. And if we go and grab some more water, that one pushes things in that direction. And this one pushes things in that direction. So now anything that falls off the corner here, unless they manage to jump to that corner there, will be pushed towards these flows and these flows will then push it down to the middle here. So let's just get that done quickly and then we can move on to the next bit. I hear the little patter of an Enderman. I don't see him though. No, that's fine by me. Whoops. That there. Ah, oh, there you are. Stealing a block of earth, I see. How very industrious of you. Right, so let's get this all in place. Oh, no, you don't. Go away. This is my building area. Right, where were we? Right, we've done those. That one needs doing. No! You get. Right. You. We need to have a chat. And the chat is mostly going to involve me killing you. Ah, oh, dear. We have never lit this place up right, and I have no idea why. We've gone mad with the torches, but there's somewhere where mobs are still being spawned. And we'll get it done. So, nearly there. done that so we're doing this side now we might as well go around this way now those are done those are done two or three more and we should be finished why are there so many gullens well um I don't know if you guys remember, but right back at the start of the game, uh, the first thing I built was um, uh, a free chicken dispenser, a cooked chicken dispenser, uh, which later became Clucking Good Chicken. But when we, uh, we made Clucking Good Chicken, I dismantled the existing one. And I set all the chickens free. And they have just bread and bread and bread and bread. And bread and bread and guess what they've bred I wondered if that would work okay so one more there and that should be done now you can see if we go anywhere here we should get pushed into the middle and the middle if you remember is a clucking great hole Thank you.